All right, well today we are at Bedford Street Antiques, which is actually right around the corner from where we plan on opening up our shop. I'm super excited to be coming back to Bedford. It has been way too long, uh, but they did reopen last week with limited hours. They're only open until four for the time being, and then I think June 1st, they return to their regular hours. So we've got about two hours, I think, to go through here and look for some goodies. Uh, Paul has a ton of booths in here. I know a lot of you who are interested in his stuff over at the warehouse. This is where he's got a majority of his booths. This is where you can come to buy it. Um, but there are a lot of other great vendors here. So I'm excited to get in and see what they have to offer. Um, but yeah, so let's head in and see what we can find. Here we go. All right, so since the shutdown, we've taken a little bit different approach to filming. And I've kind of taken you guys along a little bit more than I usually do, which means there's kind of a lot of just me filming and not really talking a whole lot. Um, I feel like that kind of gives you guys the experience of coming along shopping with me. Um, normally, I just cut the scenes to me talking about stuff, but you know, I know a lot of you guys are trapped inside and I thought this would be a good experience. So um, we're gonna do kind of some of that today and I'm just gonna take you along for the shopping experience. So here we go, let's go shopping. This is another local antique shop um, that has this booth here. I think it's a Let's Antiques. Usually she has, oh yeah, here it is. Let's Antiques, she has a, she usually has her cards in here, but I'm not seeing them. She's got some nice stuff in here. I'm still in love with this. <laughs> it's 135. And there are some condition issues with it. One of these days, I'm going to make it mine. I don't know. Today might be the day. I'm just going to think about it as we're walking around. And then if we don't get too much stuff today, maybe I'll decide today is the day. She's got a lot of furniture. And at her shop, she's got a lot of these big piece items. And a lot of the furniture pieces. She's got some nice furniture over at her shop the one time we visited there. I'm going to try not to make you guys too, too dizzy. <laughs> some nice, a lot of nice primitive cabinets in here. Oh, look at that piece. Boston baked beans. That's actually really neat. They've got $110 on that. I don't know enough about Stoner to know if that's a good price or not. I'm sure it is. Wow, look at that face back there. Let's take that out. really wedged in there. What does it say? Can't read it. $42. Gosh, I'm gonna be able to get it back in there. There we go. Let's turn it this way so people can see it. <laughs> Here we go. some Apollo stuff. I love those little birdies for twelve dollars. I like those for twelve. I'm not sure what it is. Carved birds tree. You now there's little holes in there which I don't know if other birds would have gone there. I feel like it would have been too busy with other birds. I feel like three is just enough, but I wonder what the other little holes would have been. I really like that. I think that's going to come with us. And they didn't have any baskets at the front, and I wonder if that's an issue with the COVID thing. So we're just gonna have to make a couple of trips up front with our stuff, which is no big deal.
So much to see. <laughs> All right, let's bring the birdies up front. Ooh, look. Look at the gazelles, too. Oh, there's $12 as well. That reminds me of something that's made in Africa. It's possibly a souvenir piece. But it's only $12, and it's kind of also mid-century in a way. I think that would look nice with some mid-century decor. So I'm going to grab that. And we've got our first two pieces. Let's take them up front. And I'm actually going to ask about the baskets. All right, so I just wasn't looking in the right place. We've got a basket. A nice vintage basket. Okay, so we're going to set our basket right there. I'm always really nervous about taking it into the booths because I'm afraid I'm going to swing it into something. So I usually leave it outside the booths. I just want to kind of peek into these little nooks and crannies sure we didn't miss anything because you guys know Paul he likes to stash things look see look right here I'm gonna set this down here look at this cute little face <laughs> now that is just adorable I'm gonna look at the bottom I'm assuming it's probably Japan where are we gonna set the lid right there no there's no markings on the bottom so I may have had a sticker so a lot of these pieces were often made in Japan 18 is a really good price for this I think that's probably about what I could expect to get for it online so I'm probably gonna leave it here but that's just too cute Royal Vienna and they've actually got the courting scenes so whenever you see these people just lounging in the garden this is <laughs> called a courting scene I'm gonna pull this one off and check the mark on the back Ooh. Royal Vienna now we've talked about these before because there is a mark the Armart I think it's Armart they also use a very similar beehive mark and they do the courting scenes but they are made in Japan and they try to emulate these courting scenes so you have to be careful but those are heavy they're really good quality and as you can see on the back they are marked royal vienna Ooh, looky down here Let's see what i see beautiful art glass for 15 dollars Nice polished bottom. I'm just checking it over to make sure there's no chips or cracks. But $15 is a really good price for that. It looks like it's got the silver flex in it. Um, now the silver flex is, I'm not sure what that's the terminology is for that. I know the gold flex is adventuring, but there's a different term for the silver flex. So we're definitely gonna get that. That's like 30 to $35 I can get for that. I actually remember when he got these. $15.99. These are fun. Let's keep going. <laughs> carved rabbit door stop. I don't know what it is. I'm kind of like in a carved, carved wood mood today. It's like a nice glass in here. It's like the eye winker pattern. Creamer and sugar. Mm -hmm. We recently got an EAPG compote in the eye winker pattern um, from Eric in his dollar boxes. 
but I believe Mosser now has the mold for the eye blinker pattern and so it's still being produced and I just don't know enough about it to say this is the older stuff, this is the newer stuff, but I really like that pattern. It's kind of funky and weird. This booth usually has really nice things. They are 20% off. And actually what drew me into this booth was this piece right here. Vintage Murano Art Viking Glass Vase. I'm not sure if it can be Murano and Viking at the same time. Viking is a American company and Murano is Italian. So let's take a closer look at it. I think at 38 it's a little bit out of our price range, but now I'm just a little curious. So let's look. There's a sticker on there. Mm, it's too far worn. I think Viking does have silver stickers though. I'm not really sure. I do like it though. It's really nice. I gotta be very careful sitting in there. Oh, these glass shelves make me so nervous. Alright, we're gonna play like that. <laughs> Slide that back. Alright. Oh my goodness, I got a little puppy over there on the ground. He's fully, but the nice to see too. <laughs> oh wow, it looks like they really refinished the floors. Maybe, or maybe I'm just imagining things. pieces in this booth and so I'm gonna spend a little time here and I'm going to set my cart down. My cart in a little basket with my art glass in it. <laughs> I'm gonna venture in here for a minute and see what we can find. This is actually pretty nice. Alright. enough to see this and imagine it as something else. 
but that's fantastic. That would be so neat to repurpose into something else. of a celadon glaze light green glaze Glass, but he's also got an N on there. Where's that an M from Moser? I know there's an IG, which is usually Imperial Glass, and then there's another little letter on there. Okay. I think these are fountain. Yeah, fountain boy and girl. This is what I was talking about. See that mark right there? That is the mark that is meant to emulate the Royal Vienna mark. You can see the quality is just not there. <laughs> so this caught my attention as I was walking by this Salmon Falls pottery. And I'm only able to recognize it now because when we went to the auction with Eric, um, I bought a piece there that had this blueberry vine. And that's kind of what I've come to recognize them by. And then I found that mug at the Goodwill that was unmarked and I knew it was theirs as well. Oh look, there's another one over here. Now they want $25 for that and they know, know what it is. But I really do like that. And those pieces are unmarked as well, so poke around back here. That's a nice seven here. Looks like our little worm or snake is still back here. <laughs> Waiting to be claimed. The parrot. You know, that looks a lot like Astrid. Looks like a lilac crowned Amazon. I like it. I think if it, if it was actually painted and not a print, I would be tempted. But that's my bird. Pigeon Forge faces. All right. Let's head upstairs, I guess. Okay, well now we are heading up the spiral staircase to the second floor. Paul has a lot of his booth space up on the second floor. Um, he does have some on the first, but a lot of it is up here on the second floor. So um, let's see what treasures we can find. But watch where I'm walking so I don't fall. Squeaky floors. Oh, look at that. That's that Avon ware. And uh, we saw that over at Lemoyne. And after our video, it actually sold. So that was really awesome. 
I um, I think we're gonna grab this. She had it in her booth and one of our viewers actually went and picked it up after the video, so that means you guys like it. I think we'll take it with us. It makes me a little nervous to have those two pieces in there together. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna do it. <laughs> and uh, ooh, look at that. Set my basket down again. And here we go. Try not to make you guys dizzy. This, I think, is Czechoslovakia or Germany. Oh, it's only seven dollars. Is it broken? Is it broken, Paul? Tell me it's not. I'm looking. <laughs> it is not marked. I sold one recently that was just a single bird, and I believe that one was marked either Czechoslovakia or Germany. And um, checking all of the petals. I'm the worst at this. I need a fun sponge. It's okay. I think that's good for seven dollars. We'll do it. I'm not saying anything. You guys are probably screaming at me. There's a chip right there. Oh gosh. And I don't have anything to cushion it with. We're just gonna set it in our basket for now. And our basket's going to remain stationary for the time being. Do you need hey. a new basket yet? I think I do. I just set something in there and I'm like, you know. I shouldn't really pick that up the way it is. All right, well she came and retrieved the basket for us. So now we must get another basket, but they're right around the corner, so. Um, let's see here, this is pretty cool. Look at that. Mm, all the flowers on that. I'm going to tip that over and see what it says, but i got to take this box off it first, so I'm going to set you guys down. It's continental. <laughs> oh, boy. I still really like it. It's got some oxidation issues, like some discoloration. I can just imagine like on a hot summer day, like sitting outside and bringing out some cold drinks. I think we're gonna get it for 9.50. I think we're gonna do it. I like it. <laughs> Back here, let's show. Let's see what he's got hiding. before I think we left it we do the same thing right now <laughs> I'm gonna apologize to you guys if I'm breathing heavy I'm just not used to this mask I'm gonna try something absolutely bonkers Got the aluminum tray. Now three hundred with a barrister. Hmm. You guys know I want a barrister.
Did you find them? No. No? Oh, bummer. I said they were in a basket. Huh. All right, so we've got this booth here. It's 25% off. And you know we were speaking about this Salmon Falls pottery. Um, they've actually got, I'm just gonna move this over here. They've actually got this here. Tested and works beautifully. It's stamped, um, so it's marked it's $60. But it is Salmon Falls. And it's not the blueberry, it's actually got a heart on it. I'm not sure how much their lamps sell for, so I might have to pull out my phone and actually check a comp on this one. But you guys know I really do like the Salmon Falls. I drink out of my mug a lot on videos, as a matter of fact. And then down here, I've shown this before, I'm just in love with this. It's in beautiful condition. $80 for this platter. Hello. That's great. We've got our entire set of the Jeanette Iris and Herringbone. Some salt and pepper shakers. Ooh. A little check piece. Not for that, $12. 25% off. Here. Now that looks like Salmon Falls as well. Right here. Let's check it. Am I right? Am I right? Eldreth? What? <laughs> it's actually Eldreth. $22. It's an apple pie plate. 25% off. Well then, we're going to have to do some, some math. Give me a moment while I pull out my calculator because I'm never embarrassing myself with math again on video. Set that right there. Okay. <laughs> Looks like we can make a little bit of money on this. So I think I'm going to grab the Eldris pie plate. I do like that. I don't know if I'll end up keeping it. I'm really not good at baking, so we'll see. I do like that though, so we'll take that. And then as I was uh, messing around on my phone, I noticed this. I really like that. No, it is 18. I'm just, I'm feeling like that's too high for us. I feel like that's about what we could sell it for. But I'm just, I really like the design on that. So let's go back to the link, you know. Um, I did look up comps on this. And at about 20% off of 60, that's about what it sells for. So unfortunately, um, we can't buy it for resale, but somebody else can come in and get a good deal on it. So we're going to mosey on down the road. I'm going to go get a basket. Oh, wait, we have a basket. I failed. We're going to put this into our basket and we're going to keep going. <laughs> That's where you're. Move on to more puddles. Okay, now I am going to end this video right here and I'm going to carry it into tomorrow. You guys know I don't like to push these videos past 30 minutes because I know a lot of you want to get back to your lives and you want to waste your entire day watching me. <laughs> so we're going to stop the video right here. I'm going to pick it up tomorrow where we leave off and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all tomorrow. Later. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.